Hey, 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 what's going on? This is your boy once again. This is KQKC Boxing Network. And this is another, another edition of Boxing Updates. And we are going in and talking about none other than David Benavides. Of course, we know that David Benavides and also Demetrius Andrade are supposed to be having a fight right after the next fight. Now, of course, David Benavides, promoter, is pretty much saying that, hey, listen. First of all, Demetrius Andrade doesn't bring anything to the table. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, first of all, he's a champion. Number two, David Benavides, you're not a champion. And Demetrius Andre can box. Now, of course, David Benavides, you can punch, but you're a robotic type fighter. Now, if David Benavides Jr. ever winds up fighting Demetrius Andrade someday, because I believe that they won't fight unless the money is right. Now, of course, something like a career payday, according to his so-called promoter, and he's a friend of mine. I have spoke to him on many occasions on the phone, and we ain't talking. We are talking about Samson. Samson Lewicki. He's the promoter of the 25-year-old undefeated super middleweight David Benavides. Now, of course, put on the motherfucking brakes. <laughs> yes, sir. On a potential fight between his charge and Demetrius Andre, he's saying. He's saying the slick two-division title holder, Demetrius Andrade, who's from Rhode Island, he said, talk of the two facing each other have ramped up in recent weeks after Ben and Viz, a former two-time titleist at 168. And you know the problems he had. Come on, let's not play stupid. Let's call it what it is. Let's call this shit out. I'm tired of these motherfuckers circling each other like fishes, but won't bite. You know how shots go do 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 go around, but won't take a bite. Now, I'm a natural geographic motherfucker, and I pretty much watch that. You know, I like that type of shit, right? But I know for a fact by their habitat that sharks, when they smell blood, or you cut yourself and you're in the water. They smell that shit. They taste that shit. They coming for you. Now. This is what we have in boxing. Not only that in the lightweight division. We got it right here. Right here. David Benavides. Demetrius Andrade. We got uh, 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 Jamal Charlo. I can name them all. They just circling each other. Ain't nobody. Took a bite. And everybody bleeding. But ain't nobody got bit. Huh? Oh. Oh. Somebody talk to me. Well. You know what? I keep going. Now. Now. Of course. Samson. Now. He's a, he's a good dude. He'll talk you to death. But he's a good dude. Now. Talk of the two facing each other. He's like he said. Has pretty much took a, 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 a life of his own. And thanks to old media, Mike Copperhanger, lying ass sometimes. And sometimes he be telling the truth. A former two-time Tyler, 168. Of course, he got caught with drugs. And I ain't talking about PEDs. I'm talking about street drugs. We talking about that old girl, baby. That's her. That, that white, China white. That's right. That's girl. That's called girl. That heron is that boy. <laughs> Come on, let me educate you for a minute. All right, let me let me take you down, motherfucker. A uh, 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 ghetto lane. <laughs> That's right. Now, in one sixty eight, express his desire to face Demetrius Andrade, who is currently looking to move up from the middleweight ranks. 
Now, Andrade could make his own uh, 168 pound debut in an eliminator. And that's against Parker. Uh, for you all don't know, his name is Zach Parker. And he's from uh, uh, England. Now, we know how them England boys rock. <laughs> Ain't that right, Daddy Jacobs? Huh? Rocking and stopping. It to you whoa it's up you're down high and you're low it's like that <laughs> and that's the way it is who now but for all the enthusiasm benefits a hard charging volume puncher <laughs> Ooh, i'm shaking i'm shaking has for fighting the tricky southpaw his handler apparently has no intentions of signing off on the bout. Other words, bullshit. As I come on today, as you stroll on down to KQKC, baby, uh, a corner store. I told you I'm a mom and pop. Um, you know, I'm just a mom and pop channel. That's all. But when you come in, look at the thumbnail on there. Look at the thumbnail. He's a part of that club. That club I graciously wrote on there. He's a part of that club. That's that talk, that talk, and no action club. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. You be yo motherfucker, yay. All right. Now, of course, someone is willing to break the bank to make it happen. Oh, Samson said, it ain't going to be me. Now, I'm the exclusive promoter of Ben of Yes, uh, uh, Samson said. He told the boxing voice, and shout out to the boxing voice, doing a great job over there. All right, you know, gotta get credit where credit's due. I keep them 100. I call balls and strikes, y'all know that. I don't have to keep saying that shit. Shout out to him. Now, now, in a recent interview, I would tell you that the fight could happen, but in this case, the money needs to be right. But it could happen, it could happen. But Samson want more than $7 million. Now, 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 now. this is where we're going to get into today. And this will be a call-in show today. Yes, I decided to make it a call-in show. All right, I made some changes. And I'm going to be off Friday because I'm going to have two fight cards to call in the morning at night. So, might as well settle in, get ready, and hear some good fight calling. Now, and next week too, same fucking replay next week too, alright, so this is going to be a call in show, call in baby, talk to the singing OG today, because it is going to be turned up today on my channel, now, of course, like I said, he talked to the boxing voice in a recent interview, and he said that I will tell you that the fight could happen, now that's good news, but that's news that we always heard of in the last three or four years. That and about ten other fights. When somebody actually going to step in the motherfucking ring and take what they offered without stalling, stalling, and fucking stalling. Hell, I had five birthdays to go past and motherfuckers ain't still ain't fault. A lot of guys, I can tell you. But in this case, the money needs to be right, he said. Well, seven million dollars, David Benavidez, and you ain't had no belt. You tested dirty. I mean, motherfucker, you better take what you can get. You don't bring nothing to the table either. Yes, you was a former champion. Hell, so was Dimitri Andrade. Matter of fact, he still is a champion. <laughs> wow, huh? No, oh, I better say something for my channel. I better say something for the network, baby. All right? For my for my devoted and for my lovely, my lovely subscribers. I love y'all. I do. I really do. Now, complicated matters is the fact that Benavides and Andre share different promotional alliances. Now, Benavides is aligned with who? <laughs> None other than the brother. <laughs> PBC. Al Heyman, premier boxing champion, and Showtime with Demetrius Andrade, backed by Eddie Hearn and Mashroom Boxing, and does own. Wow. So, there you go. Now, Everything Boxing, my brother, from Everything Boxing, he kind of alluded to this yesterday. 
that uh, uh, David Benavides is with Al Heyman. Now, I told you Al Heyman is not a promoter. He's a visor. But sometimes he do wear a promoter's hat. But he can stop shit. He can get shit going. He can make shit happen. That's the umbrella he's under. And also, Eddie. Yes, sir. Eddie can make shit happen too. So, what should a brother do? What should a, a Mio do? <laughs> if I'm saying that right, my Hispanic brothers. Previously, Hearn tried to entice another PBC fighter, middleweight title holder, who? Jamal Charlo, with a substantial financial package to face Demetrius Andrade. That was back in 2019. Hearn said in a email the Houston based Charlo a one fight offer to to the tune of listen at this the same amount seven million dollars to fight to meet this Andretti on the zone. <laughs> the zone gets some subscriptions, the zone gets somebody to watch it, and he gets seven million dollars. But the zone probably gonna make out more than that. So Al Heyman had a little talk with Jamal. <laughs> That's right. See, you all thought it was Jamal, which they are their own boss, in a sense, in a way. But Al Heyman has the last say-so. But in his contract, he says the fighter has the ultimate last say-so. So which one is it, Al? What did I tell you? I ain't let nobody slide by. I don't give a fuck if you black, white, or Chinese. That's right. You're not going to ease by this shit. No. No. And that goes for you too, Al. Yeah, you're a brother too from another mother. But goddammit, hell, I got to call balls and strikes. And right now, you holding up the fight for maybe other reasons like uh, 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 Canelo. Or maybe, or maybe another fight that remains to be talked about. But what about Earl? What about Tan? I mean, we can go on and on. But that's what the calling show is for today. I want you to be the ultimate uh, decision. You be the ultimate one to say so. Huh? Oh, don't worry. I got you. Don't worry. I got you today. Now, of course, we know that Benavides will stand to earn in a fight against a Mexican superstar uh, 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 like Canelo Alvarez, a big payday. This is what they've been doing for I don't know how long. All they've been doing is chasing Canelo Alvarez. They've been hoping and praying that they get a fight with him because Canelo Alvarez is pretty much deciding their legacy. Deciding who they are. Deciding who, what kind of fighter they are. Canelo Alvarez is there to validate them as a fighter. In their minds. I am. I am. I am KQKC Boston Network. If you haven't subscribed, you might as well go ahead and subscribe now. I'll wait. Share, like this video because you got more where that come from and you got more of that today at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. That's right. And we will be having a call in show. In this show, I made some adjustments so the sound will be a little louder and hopefully a little clearer. All right. So therefore, be there or be square, baby. This is the gist of it. So, once again, Demetrius Andrade and, of course, David Benavides. There's not going to be a fight unless, unless, the zone come up with more money. Or, Al Hammond say, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and fight him. Or, go right ahead. Or, no, don't worry about it. I'm saving this money for something else. You see? The promoters and the visors, they could fuck up a bad dream. Hell, I'm sorry. Where am I? They could fuck up a wet dream. 
And with that, this has been another edition of Boxing Updates. I am KQKC. I come on Monday through Friday. And that's 12.30 p.m. Central Time. I come on Saturday mornings at 10.30 a.m. That's a call-in show, but not this weekend. Because this weekend at 1 o'clock, we got a fight. Cal Brook. And yes, American. 10 years too late, but they on fire like 10 years ago. Then we're going to go and come back 7 o'clock Saturday night. Yes, we got Hyde McGill and Ballard. I will be calling both of those fights. Get ready. KQ is on point. And with that, shout out to the almighty LDBC. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to New Media's Row. Shout out to Black Media's Row. And once again, I thank you, my subscribers. I thank you, my base. I thank you for showing up and showing out every day. Because I got something coming for you. Just be patient. It's coming. And with that, I'm on to the next one. Assalamu alaikum. I'm out.